Hey YouTubers, today we've got a Vauxhall Opel Insignia and we're going to be doing the front brake pads on it. Straightforward job, I'll take you through the process. Enjoy Same as it. always, loosen off the fluid reservoir cap. Go on there gently, oops. In fact, we shall put it here and the bonnet won't close and we won't forget it. Alright, so we've got it up here, let's see if it's the wheels on. So these are pretty straightforward. Bolt there, bolt at the top there. We need to get a sturdy screwdriver in there, lever it back a bit, force the pads back. But yeah, pretty straightforward job. Are these 13s or 14s? They're the good old 14 variety. All we do is get a 16 pin spanner on there. All we do is get a 16, which is not a 16, it's a 17. Down there, so we can get a sweep on that one. We've got them both going there. Back in here. And that's it to go on there. Just stop. Oh, yeah, of course it's there. There we go. Still pretty warm out here, we're kind of high 30 still. I won't complain about rock a bit of nice weather. Hook up the caliper if we can. Let's just hook that up carefully on the spring. We've got the pad. Remember that swing board. So just so you know, that's the inboard pad, that's the outboard pad, see little lugs in it there, hope you can see that. So as we all know, my favourite pads, come with furniture.
Those I can. Any squirrel shims. Let's go get these uh, cleaned up and then we can reinstall the new ones. Right, so we have new uh, hardware for it. I mean, this is in pretty good nick anyway. We'll take them out. Remember, I always keep them as they come out because sometimes they're different, these aren't. Give a little clean up. Don't forget your goggles. Apologies if you couldn't see that. We'll come back when the old uh, compressor stopped. Got a bit of peace. So, our weights off there. Give these a clean up and a re grease. So, we'll do the top one first. As you guys know, I like to kind of keep them in their order. That one needs to grease it. I'll just stick it there for a minute while we clean up the sub one. As you can tell, this one is the bottom one, has this little rubber piece on the end. Go in there with this stuff. Same with this side. So, a bit of cough slip on the new furniture. Just see the smear of the old copset. I'll tell you what, it's so hot here, it's getting a bit runny. I need to be careful, so just a really small smear of copperset. And in the uh, box, these come in pairs. In and then pop the pop the bottom in. Now our ball one probably a bit, a little bit more straightforward because we can actually see what we're doing. He says. Come on. Sometimes you need to get a little angle on them. Let's go this way. Wiggle them in. Hopefully you saw that and didn't just see me on. I may need to wind this piston in just a tad more, but a little bit of copper slip on the bars where it touches. Yeah, that piston's got to come in just a tad more. So, let's just sit there for now. No, that's not going anywhere. There we go. No, 
Africa, child play. Don't want to like say. A little bit of lock tight or thread lock on the bolts. Same with the other one. Now, unfortunately, we didn't get any new bolts, Mr. Rambo. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Spot on by hand. Can't be bad. Your responsibility to find out, find out your own torque settings. So next thing to do, just give it a little bit of a clean up on the disc. So now it's going to be wheel on, pump the brakes, do the other side, pump the brakes, and then put the uh, cap on the uh, brake fluid reservoir. So let's get this wheel on, then I'll do the other side. And of course, when the job's done, chalk up your wheels. Just snug them up. I'll well go and pump the brakes up now, get the other side down, then we can drop it down, pump it up the brakes again, and put the uh, cap on the fluid reservoir.
comes up. There we go. So that's just a short video on how to change the brake pads on a uh, Volkswagen Insignia. I think it's the same as the Astra H's and probably quite a few others. Um, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like what I'm doing, please subscribe, like, hit the bell to get notifications of my new videos as and when they come out. And please leave comments or questions in the box below. Thanks for watching.